गुड मॉर्निंग टू आल विश यू हैप्पी सेवेंटी फाइव इयर्स ऑफ इंडिपेडेंस डे ऑफ इंडिया लेट अस गो विल विल वी बिकम रिच आवर ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ बर्थडे इज एन अकेशन फॉर सेलिब्रेशन वी हैव सक्सेडेड बियॉन्ड ऑल एक्सपेक्टेशंस इंक्लूडिंग आवर ओन टू रिमाइन ए वन नेशन डेमोक्रेसी इन द हिस्टरी ऑफ डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज दिस इज ए रिकॉर्ड we have also structurally moved from being very poor to now a lower middle income economy for centuries between 1500 and the 1980s india and china had broadly the same per capita ppp income in 2022 china per capita income is 2.5 times higher 16700 dollars versus Six thousand five hundred dollars. One of the most important stories about development is that of catch-up. Simply stated, it asserts that because of globalization, there will be equalization. No estimate of an equality will occur. Just the likely time path. It is also found that as the country is moved on this predicted path. they will encounter a middle income trap that is their growth will slow down <clears throat> after looking near double digit growth for close to 3 decades china's per, per capita income grew at a, a toppy 12.8% in the go go year of 2007 that same year india growth was a respectable but lower 7.8% over the last decade china's per capita growth has declined by more than half to only 4.5 per annum per capita growth in china is now expected not to exceed 3% in 2022 india the fastest growing major economy is expected to clock close to 7% over the next 25 years china's per capita growth is unlikely to exceed 3% a level nearly double that of its counterparts in an advanced economics the next 25 years are expected to be truly transformation for india mega structural change is go coming from roads to airports to water and electricity for all add to this the culmination of present trends in education today every child in india goes to school more men attended college than men and india has the highest proportion of female pilots in the world 12.4% compared to 5.5% in the us of course our population is more than four times than the us but after accusations of gender inequality in india it is pleasantly shocking to see the success of female professionals in india more than 40% of female graduates are in stem disciplines easily outperforming the us by more than 10 percentage points human capital is going to be a big source of growth over the next 25 years yet a continuing decline in fertility which will mean an ever increasing supply of female human capital important economic reforms remains to be answer undertaken agriculture still remains where it was stymied by lack of institutional reform but change will come as will the day when all income earners will be treated equally we believe in equality but not if it means equal taxation of equal income agriculture income taxation will be an important reality before india reaches 100 there are several feature sources of growth for india many of them taking the form of low hanging fruit china and developed economics have few growth enhancing initiative left hence it is not difficult to envision that over the next 25 years india grows at close to 3.8% extra extra than china it is this extra growth which 
constitutes catch up if this happens india at 6.8% average china at 3% then india and china will have similar per capita incomes in 2047 around ppp 35000 dollars the same as spain today and within 10% of italy korea japan and new zealand in 2047 we will be keeping with the with our trust with the destiny a democratic country with per capita income in the top 10% of all economics whatever will be but very likely that the future is ours thank you very much